Dr. Abraham Petkow, working for the Canadian Atomic Energy Commission, researched how much radiation would damage a cell membrane. He initially confirmed that large amounts of gamma radiation, about 20,000 years worth, delivered over two and a half hours, destroyed cell membranes. The surprise came when he discovered that only four years worth of radiation delivered in 12 hours to synthetic cell membranes without antioxidant defenses created a chain reaction which destroyed those structures. We assert that there are three key lessons from Dr. Petkow's work. First, antioxidants are key to radiation tolerance. Cells with deplete antioxidant protection are much more susceptible to radiation than healthy ones. Second, the cell membrane damage is more important than DNA damage, which is secondary. Third, radiation damage is not proportional to radiation dose. Very low exposures can be destructive. Naturally, industrial and government concerns which prefer to operate within high pollution, emission, and radiation tolerances treated Dr. Petkow and his research with unpleasant disfavor. There are three main differences between hormesis and what Dr. Petkow discovered. First, the exposure levels are much lower. Petkow's gamma radiation levels started about four years over 12 hours. The strongest native healing stones are about 500 times less than this. Dr. Petkow only used high energy gamma radiation and didn't evaluate beta or alpha. His research focused on nude or unprotected synthetic cellular shells. Later, we'll expand our explanation why hormetic therapy tends to be beneficial with primitive organism pathologies involving bacteria, yeast, and fungi as a direct extension of Dr. Petkow's nude cell research.